friends welcome to my channel today in this video lecture we are going to study about important image based questions from oral surgery considering the recent neat pattern image based questions are important part of your exam so stay tuned till the end osteotome this is an instrument used for splitting bone it has a cylindrical handle which is serrated for good grip the end of the handle is flat where it is tapped with the mallet the blade is flat and rectangular the blade and cutting edges may be available in different sizes depending on its use the cutting edge is bibeveled which converges to form a sharp edge this is an important mcq that osteotome is bibeveled and it is used for splitting bone when used along with mallet chisel instrument used for cutting bone with a mallet the handle is cylindrical and serrated with a flat end to be struck with the mallet the blade is flat and rectangular the cutting edge may be available in different sizes depending upon its use the cutting edges has a single bevel as you can see in the image unlike osteotome which was bibeveled surgical mallet the osteotome and chisel are used with surgical mallet it is made up of stainless steel with a strong cylindrical handle the flat end of the handle of the chisel and osteotome are tapped with a mallet while cutting bone bone ronger also called a bone nibbler available as two types end cutting ronger and side cutting ronger depending upon the cutting edges of the instrument it has two beaks with a cutting edge at the tip in case of end cutting ronger and the cutting edge along the sides of the beak in case of side cutting ronger the handle whose outer edge is serrated for good grip has a spring like design it is used for removal of sharp edges of bone on the alveolar ridges as in case of alveoloplasty and also to remove sharp margins of bone around a bony surgical wound after extraction or removal of cyst and tumor bone file a double ended instrument each end is designed differently with different types of serrations the size of the face on each end is different one end has a larger face and the other has a smaller The working edge has a sharp serrated face which may be straight serrations or cross cut type of serrations it is used for smoothing sharp edges of bone it is used with a pull motion or push motion depending upon the direction of the serrations Rowe's maxillary disimpaction forceps this is a paired instrument used in maxillary fractures it has two beaks one of which has a large curvature when compared to the other The beak with lesser curvature is usually padded. It is used in reduction of leafwort fractures of the maxilla. It may be used to disimpact and reduce the impacted maxillary fractures. Welshams forceps. This is also a paired instrument used for the reduction of nasal bone fractures. And as you can see, both beaks are curved. One curved blade is placed on the outer aspect of the nose externally on the nasal bone while the other blade grasps the nasal bone from inside of the nose. Ashes septal forceps. It is also known as nasal septal forceps as it is used for the reduction of a fractured nasal septum. This is used along with Welshams forceps in nasal fractures. This is an unpaired instrument. The blades are narrow and long with minimal curvature. Arid's arch bar. This is a thin flat stainless steel bar which can be easily bent and adapted along the upper and lower arches. The bar consists of hooks or cleats which help in engaging the wire for maxillo mandibular fixation. Wire twister. This instrument is used for holding wire, passing it interdentally or through bone. for dento alveolar wiring or transosseous wiring usually 26 gauge wires are used for maxillofacial surgical fixations bristos zygomatic elevator it has a long flat broad blade which 
thins down towards the edge. The handle is strong and fenestrated with indentations on the outer surface for good grip. This is used for the reduction of zygomatic complex and zygomatic arch fractures through Gillies temporal approach. This is very easy, right? Mouth props of different sizes. Here the first image is Obvegesa's all. Long stout needle like projections with an eye at the tip. The needle has a gradual curvature as you can see and the handle is fenestrated in the center for grip by the operator's fingers. Now where it is used? It is used for passing wires around stable bone in case of maxillofacial trauma for closed reduction using internal skeletal suspensions. And the bottom image is calcify all. This is similar to Obvegesa's all except the needle is shorter and straight. The needle has an eye at the tip. It also has a fenestrated handle with indentations on the outer surface for grip. It is used for circummandibular wiring of splints to the fractured mandible. Langenbach's retractor, L-shaped retractor with a long handle. It is used for retraction of the edges of a flap for improved visualization. This is tongue depressor, also an L-shaped retractor but it has no handle. It has a broad, flat, rounded blade and it is used for the retraction or depression of the tongue to improve the visibility of the posterior pharyngeal wall and tonsillar region. It can also be used to retract cheeks. This is Austin's retractor. It is also an L-shaped retractor with no handle. It is used basically for the retraction of small intraoral flaps as in the case of removal of an impacted tooth. This is a sinus for sap. This has handles with rings at the end of at the end for holding the instrument. It does not have a lock or ratchet. The beaks are narrow, long and slender. The inner surface of the beaks have transverse serrations only close to the tip and not all along the entire length. It is used for draining pus from an abscess. After the incision is placed on the abscess, the sinus forceps is inserted by blunt dissection into the abscess cavity and opened up. The pus drains along the beaks of the forceps. This instrument does not have lock because it is inserted blindly into an abscess cavity. It should not be closed as it may injure some important structures. This is Fogusen Ackland Mouth Gag. This is an instrument used to forcefully open the mouth in case of Christmas. This is also mouth gag. It has broad serrated blades which are made to rest on the occlusal aspect of the molars while the instrument is opened with slow gradual force. It can also be used to keep the mouth open for intraoral procedures under general anesthesia. Here you can see the high volume suction tip. Narrow bore tubes with a narrow tip. It is available in variety of the sizes and available as autoclavable stainless steel or plastic suction tips. This is saliva ejector. It is also called low volume suction tip. I hope it doesn't require much description. So this was all about it. If you want more lectures like this, then please stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell icon so that you can get update of all the videos which I am uploading. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.